what's up you guys and welcome back we're gonna train for our flat tummy hourglass waist what waist today and i'm dropping the workout here for you to screenshot this is a gym workout but you can do it at home because there is no equipment required if you are new i'm the official fit queen enjoy Starting with feet up crunches, you're going to crunch your way up as high as you can and squeezing at the top. When you go all the way back down to the mat, you want to touch the mat with your elbows so that you're fully going back so that you can bring yourself up and you're not using momentum. Remember to breathe through these and you're going to do 15 to 20 total. Next is everyone's favorite bicycle crunch. You really want to focus on trying to touch your elbow to your opposite knee as you can see and also keeping your back flat on the mat so that it's not coming up off of the mat. You want to keep it as close to the mat as possible while still breathing of course and I do about 15 reps per side, 30 total. So instead of doing leg raises with both legs going down at the same time, you're going to start with your left leg going down with your right staying in the air and then switching. You do really want to focus like the last exercise on keeping your back flat on the mat, also keeping your breath control and going slow and controlled pace so you can really feel this in your abs. These are like a silent killer and one of my favorites and um, you're going to be burning in your abs and your stomach in no time do as many as you can but try to reach for 12 to 15 reps per leg Going forward with scissor kicks, you're going to put your feet in a six inch position, so six inches off the ground, and you're really just making your feet move in a scissor-like motion. So you're gonna swipe your feet one over the other and just keep this motion going as long as you can. Really, I try to go for 60 seconds. You can definitely go to 30 seconds if you are a beginner, but if you also need a little bit of help, you can put your hands under your bum. Try not to do it too much. And then eventually you'll get to the point where you do not need your hands under your butt at all. Once you're done with those, you're gonna take about a minute to two minutes rest and complete for up to four rounds total of that first circuit. I'm gonna throw in just an advanced <laughs> optional ab exercise that you can do, and these are called hip ups, and you're just moving and pushing your hips up into the air, but you're alternating sides. So I do my left side, and then I squeeze up to the air with my right side, and I'm repeating. Like I said, I threw this one in here for those who like a challenge and these are definitely challenging and you can do this before you start the next circuit. And like I said, four rounds total. 
and take about two minutes rest. If you need more, that's completely fine, girl. Circuit number two, starting with side jackknives, and you're gonna do 10 to 12 of these per side. I'm starting with my right side, and you're in a horizontal fashion lying on the mat. You can either do like I'm doing now, where you're reaching your elbow to your knee as you crunch, and you can bend your knees as you do this, or as you'll see in a second when I switch to the other side, you can reach your arm up into the air and try to touch your toes. So whichever works for you, but this is working your side abs, AKA your obliques, but it's also working your overall core strength. So do as many of these as you can. These are not the easiest exercise. So try your best to get as closely as your knees as possible. You wanna touch your elbows to your knee or your hand to your feet. These side plank climbers are insane and you're gonna hold a side plank and then you're going to squeeze your knee to your chest or as far as your chest as you can and then extend your leg back out. You want to be as high as you possibly can in this side plank. You don't want your hips to slouch to the bottom. You wanna keep your hips up as high as possible as you are bringing your knee to your chest and extending out. And of course you're gonna switch sides and do 10 on the other side, but just remember to take your time and also remember to just keep breathing. You are doing the best that you can. And as you can see right here, I am still trying to do my best. So enjoy these. These have been a game changer in my abs and I just love doing them. Almost done. Okay, these are one of my favorites for a slim waist. What waist? Waist wear. <laughs> these are side plank rotations. You're gonna do 10 to 15 per side. You're really reaching through, almost like you're threading a needle. You're reaching through your side and then extending your arm all the way up to the top. You wanna emphasize when you're reaching through to really feel it. The point of ab workouts is to really feel it. So if you're going too fast and you're not breathing properly, you may you know, not be able to do them or feel them, or you may be able to do more than normal. But you really wanna focus on reaching through, breathing and keeping your hip up just like the last exercise. And do as many as possible as close as you can to 15 each side. Last but not least, we are all familiar with mountain climbers. I'm not doing these fast. These are slow and I'm also going knee to opposite elbow. As you can see, you want to drive that knee towards that opposite elbow and touch it. As you squeeze for 30 seconds total, this is the last exercise in this circuit. So do your best and also make sure that you are in a proper plank because you don't wanna droop your body and have your hips flowing down and go for that full 30 seconds. After you're done, make sure that you complete this second round for three to four rounds total. And that would wrap up this ab workout. Get that slim waist, girl. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.